in this video we're going to mold our first parts with the injection molder machine. So in a previous video a couple of weeks ago we machined the mold for some tool forks and today we're going to get the machine injecting and we'll see how it did. Now I did inject a couple of parts already to test it out and just I have no idea what I'm doing so trying to figure things out. First part went well but I had a split here because my clamp wasn't tight enough and it spread the mold apart. It, it made a good presentable part but it's too thick here and so therefore this par portion here that slides into the tool fork was also too thick. You can see the parting line there is really thick. There is a parting line there where it oozed out. And then here is a good one. You can see the parting line is perfect. But uh, pretty stoked. It made really good parts. I did have one where I didn't have enough pellet material in there and so therefore it only injected a partial. But that was the only partial. I had two issues. One with the splitting and the second issue was partial. And since then I've done five good ones. I've got the mold in there, I've got pellets in here, and we're going to make another part right now. So let's, uh, let me get this uh, tripod here set up and see. So, you really can't see very much, can you? Because this machine is so big and this is a tight spot. So I've got mold in there, and so it's, it's really pretty simple. I just pulled down on the handle. We're running uh, 215 and 230, uh, 225 at the nozzle. So I'm just going to pull down on the handle. The ram's going to come down. So it starts squeezing the material in there. And then when it gets all the way down it, and the mold is filled, it's like a hydraulic lock. So it stops. Pause for about five seconds. Lift up the handle, and uh, we're good. So then I'm going to fill the barrel back up with pellets so it can kind of start preheating for the next shot. And I haven't really got all this figured out because I've only made a few pieces, but... Um, Basically, this is such a large piece that uh, basically what I've been doing is just uh, filling up the, making sure the barrel's filled. That's about it. It's kind of making a mess because these pellets are kind of going everywhere. And you have to remember that these pellets, there's going to be like air space gaps in here because they're, you know, pellets so and you can kind of compress them just a little if you need to you got the mold under there it's already been pressed so it's not going to press anymore all right so then we just uh, unclamp it uh, unfortunately this mold is really thin it's only an inch uh, but that's the way it comes out. I've got the because it's so tall and it sticks up above my clamp here I've got these C-clamps on here So that uh, just in case it doesn't split at the top So I take the clamps off These are just precaution uh, In actuality when I designed this I probably should have put it with the fuel hole on the side and then it wouldn't have been sticking up above my clamp there so I just push the pins out I'm just using a screwdriver I really need to have like a punch or something probably would be better but the screwdriver seems to be doing okay it does take a little bit of pressure and then I just pull the mold apart it comes out clean on this side but this side here is where we have the cavity so takes a little bit to get out this part just breaks right off clean 
I'm going to save those and then I'll throw them back in just using the screwdriver to ply this up a little bit now if you remember when I designed this mold I didn't put uh, any taper on those cavities that would probably help this from uh, releasing a little bit better but it seems to be uh, working out okay and so there we have a finished part one tool fork let's get a tool and I'll snap it in there and we can I'll let you see how it fits so it locks it in there gets over that little there we go alright so that's it it's pretty much all there is to it so I'm just gonna continue on um, making some more of these uh, the mold's not real, real hot. I just put the clamps on and uh, I filled it back up before I took the mold out so it should have enough uh, material in there heated and we should be ready for another shot. Getting the timing down is uh, a little tricky but it just it's going to take some time to figure all that out so I just get it clamped in there and get it centered I don't have my stop hooked up yet and uh, we can do another do another shot that's not where you were before ok let's see let's try that about five seconds and that's all there is to it so I'm using for the tool forks here I'm using um, polypropylene this is a glass field polypropylene uh, it was a pound that was in here and uh, you probably can make about maybe 20, two dozen forks probably because I didn't even use half a pan so probably two or three dozen uh, of these tool forks with this and uh, yeah seems to be working pretty good pretty happy with it so far I, I mean it really makes a nice as you can see it really makes a nice little part and I think they're going to work out really well um, machining out of ABS was uh, convenient at first because I didn't have the injection molding machine but it's very time consuming to machine this plastic and it gets everywhere in the mill and it's just a mess to clean up so I really wanted to injection mold these and we have successfully done that it turned out really well well alright guys I guess that'll wrap up the video here on injection molding my first part uh, I'm really excited about this yeah I mean it really right from the start it worked pretty good it took me like three tries to get a usable tool fork and so yeah I couldn't be happier um, there's some learning curve with this and I'm I'm figuring things out like I should have turned that mold sideways and filled from the side because it's so tall but hey you know this is all part of uh, the learning experience guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner also click on that notification bell that way when I post a new video like this one they'll send you a link and if it's something you're interested in you can stop by and check it out as always please feel free to ask questions make suggestions or leave comments thumbs up if you like the video please subscribe and most importantly be safe